Yo, it's a lion's war, and the stakes are high. Lord Shadow steps up, he's ready to fly. Questions in the air, they start to rain. Can Lord clear his lane without any strain? How many deaths will Lord give out this war? He gotta maintain. Find the best counter for the fender. Lord Shadow skill, he's the ultimate contender. Maps laid out, it's a treacherous path. But Lord's got the skills, he's done the math. Checking the nodes, planning the attack. He's moving forward, there's no turning back. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 52, and this is war number five. And it looks like we're going up against an alliance called Mass Titans. Okay, let's see, who did they ban? Shuri, Silk, and Ironheart. All right, let's see what they got planned for me. Yep, there's our favorite guy, Future Ant-Man. There's an Iron Man, okay, and ugh. Iceman, who does get an armor up, and it probably will count. Oh, that is so ugly. But it don't matter. Um, Corvus could take that fight. Corvus can take this fight um, against Venom. I think Corvus could take also that um, Iron Man. And, of course, Magneto can take that future Ant-Man. So let's see uh, what our war planner has for us. Okay, let's see. So he has me fighting Iceman with Corvus. He has me fighting future Ant-Man with Corvus. No, that's not going to work. Um, Venom with Corvus. That works. And uh, Iron Man with Corvus. Yep. And so all of that works except for uh, future Ant-Man. Now, let's see. Does he have me... Assigned any minis? Oh, he's got two minis for me this time. Bishop. I doom for Bishop. And Iron Man Infinity War with Corvus. Okay, so. Hmm. And let me see, he has me bringing Proxima for Corvus. There's no need, I don't think, for Proxima for that Corvus. So we can swap out Proxima with Magneto for that um, future Ant-Man. Of course, I could also bring in Gladiator, but let's go with uh, Magneto. So this guy here. Yep, Corvus can do that fight, no problem. And then now Bishop here. I do. Okay. And I Doom is um, attacker tactic, so I think um, Lady Deathstrike could also do this fight. So I Doom or Lady Deathstrike um, can do it. All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, we're going in with Magneto, Infamous Iron Man, and Corvus. Oh boy. This war was interesting. There's a mini fight coming up where I use I Doom, and uh, more on that later. All right, but for now, we're going to be fighting Iceman. And of course, we're going in with Corvus. Corvus, definitely 
it's going to destroy Iceman. Just, just, and he's going to get a charge from it. So I'm boosting up like I do. And I was thinking about whether I should boost any more, you know, cosmic boosts, power back boosts. And I was like, but you know what? These fights don't really need it. You know, there are some fights where you really have to boost up to the max with Corvus to get some back-to-back -back special twos. But look at this. Just chew him up. Just chew him up. Oh, yeah. Corvus is back, baby! And I hit into the block because it doesn't cost me any charges, and I can still crit through the block. So I'm still doing damage no matter what. So you hold up your hands and block. Corvus still coming for you. Fast fight. Now we've got uh, Venom. In a previous um, war, I pointed out that Corvus could have taken Venom. Well, now you're going to see. Look at that. Put an armor break on him. No problem. Even if he had gotten an armor up, it wouldn't matter. And I'm watching here to see if he's going to get an armor up. All right. Fire this special one. I don't see any armor up. Look at that. Hit into his block. Try and get passive. That's fine. Corvus don't care. I'm looking. I don't see an armor up. Yep. Hit into your block. We're good. And done. Corvus came out looking peachy. Look at that. Boy, I've missed Corvus. Before Hercules came into the game, I used Corvus all the time. He was my favorite. He had one drawback. If the fights were too long, he would lose all his charges. Then you had to basically play around because he couldn't crit without it. So it was a very slow fight if you ran out of charges early and your opponent wasn't almost dead. And then you had to wait till the charges came back. It, it just was not fun. So you need to get them down quick. And with the health pools, you know, rising, Corvus just went by the wayside. But then they came out with a seven star Corvus. And I was lucky enough to not only pull him, but pull him twice in a row from a special crystal because he's not even available yet in the basic. And as you see, I took him to rank three. There was no question whether I was going to do that or not, even if he hadn't been awakened. And he's been crushing it wherever I use him. So now we've got standard fight. They always put him on this node. Go back and look and see how many times we have fought future Ant-Man on this node. It's either uh, with Magneto or with uh, Gladiator. One of the two. They take him out pretty easily. I will not bring Corvus. He does not do all that well. He could do the fight, but this is not his fight. I do not like using Corvus here. He will lose a lot of health. And the fight will not be quick either. All right. Now we've got OG Iron Man. So far, we've been kicking butt. We have two minis. Two after this. So here we go. Bam. Look at that. Now he keeps getting armor ups, but it don't matter. Look at that. Two. Because even if I get a shock on me, Corvus doesn't take damage from the shocks. And he heals. Because of my willpower. Look at this. I didn't even get to a special two. And took him out. So, when we're, you know, finally able to rank four champions, he is definitely in the running. I will probably take him up. He might be. I mean, it depends, obviously, if they, you know, give us a random gem and it's a cosmic then it'll probably be him um if not then you know who knows all right so this fight we talked about this fight 
and we made uh well, we made one big mistake. So this is a power snack node, right? And for some reason, I thought and a uh, you know alliance mate thought that doom's armor was passive because it looks a little different than your typical armor up right so we were thinking it was passive it's not passive okay and there's a few things going on behind the scenes that i will fill in uh what i want y'all to to listen to is the uh sound because the sound will cut out and cut back in a couple of times during this fight. And I'll tell you why in a minute. All right, so here we go, my standard, and he blocked it. So at this point, I was like, what the hell just happened? And then I realized what happened. He ate my armor. And I'm like, oh crap, okay? So I'm like, what am I gonna do now? I'm like, all right, well, let me try to get him to eat the precision buff instead, right? So he ate the armor, as you see there, okay? And I'm like, okay, I need to back off, get him to eat the precision. Oh, he wasn't firing that special two. It ate it. He got a special three, took me out, okay? Let's just say I was less than pleased. Right. It caught me, and I wasn't able to recover from that. All right, now, all this time here, what you're seeing is I realized that I had an open mic. My mic, I had not muted it for recording, because that's what I usually do. I'll mute the mic, record the fight, then I'll come back, and I'll do this. Uh, voiceover narration and I didn't realize the mic was open so what you heard me saying um, in the fight was you know you know OMG what just happened you know and and stuff like that just you know interspersed in there no I did not cuss um, but it was just it would conflict with my narration as well so what I did was I just kind of muted each one. Um, and I think at the end I said, I should have just gone in here with uh, Lady Deathstrike, who can do this fight, you know, no problem. Next time, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'll tell him, let me just come in here with Lady Deathstrike. She can do this fight um, and we're good. Now see here, see the precision? It didn't eat it, okay? That's what I was waiting for. So I hit him, and, you know, we went. Now, watch this. Look at my armor up. That time, it did not eat it because it hadn't come back yet. I didn't know that. Because what I could have done right there was what I tried to do in the previous attempt. My special would have been unblockable, and it would have drained his power. Once I didn't have my armor up, that was it. But once the armor up is there like it is now, the power snack won't take it away. It only takes it away when power snack is off the cooldown and then the buff comes and it'll eat it. But if it's already there by the time power snack comes, we're good. I was trying to do that in the last attempt and I wasn't able to. This one I did, but I was not even relying on that. I didn't even look, see, we were good to play the way we normally do and he would <clears throat> be in you know immune to the incinerate and all of that but i was just like no <clears throat> i'm not playing around with it i've already died one time that's one time too many let's just get it done and we almost didn't get it done as you see but we got it done now we've got another mini to deal with now this mini I'm much more familiar with fighting this mini uh, with Corvus. In fact, I used Corvus early on. I think when he, uh, infamous, uh, not infamous, um, Iron Man Infinity War first came out, I know I was using um, Hyperion 
to counter him. Then I was using Corvus. And from that point on, I used Corvus all the time against Infamous Iron Man. So I'm already familiar with his spacing. And you see how I'm um, going all out here? Not because I think I need to, but I already died one time. And I do not want to die again. So I boosted all the way up just in case. Okay? Was not playing with it. So you can see here, just slicing them up. Look at that. Slicing dice. And I'm not dexing, if you notice. So I'm not getting the precision buff. And I'm also not getting power drained. Didn't even need it. Didn't need all those buffs. All right, so that's going to do it for my fighting in this war. One death, and we'll be back in a moment, and we'll find out just how this war ended. And we're back, and we won this war. Look at the score. This war was crazy close. Shout out to Masked Titans. You guys did your thing, okay? Just take a look, man. Two attack bonus difference. That's it. That's how much we won. Woo! Shout out to our MVPs as always, but that was a good war. I was not sure whether we won that war or not. Um, um, I think Masked Legend, hold on. Let me just make sure if that's who it was. Yeah, Mass Legend reached out to me on uh, Discord and, uh, you know, it was like, good war, good war. And I was like, huh? He said, it looks like you guys may have won. And I didn't know yet because I hadn't seen anything. And when I got on and I saw we actually had won, then I was like, ooh, yeah, looks like it, you know? But look how close this was. This was an all-around good battle, okay? Easily could have gone to uh, Mass Titans, okay? Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. If you haven't subscribed to me already, what are you waiting for? It's free. Hitting like, subscribing, free ways to support the channel, all right? So take care. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he's swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.